Hey, Mariah. Hey, Misunderstood. Misunderstood. Mariah Mob Squad. Big King in the morning. You want your little bag of rub? Yo, I was up so late last night. Mm. I'm up so early. <laughs> Chandra. King. So, apparently, honey. So, <laughs> King. I'm talking to my, come on. King wants all the attention, okay? Oh, let me give him some water. I thought I got some water. I put the water right here. Well, so, y'all, let me just tell y'all that I find it very comical, okay? First of all, let me just tell you that um, I'm not going to be on here too long because I got a lot to do for my sunny boy today. Um, get off of that. But, um, child, <laughs> the audacity of some people, right? So, <clears throat> last night, the <clears throat> Roche Motel, uh, Flawless, decided to make a community post. So I know you guys probably saw my community post, right? Um, and tell, so let me let me just show you the community post first. Since we're gonna start with, we're not gonna we're not gonna um. Well, before I even say that, first of all, a lot of these people, um, I ain't gonna say a lot of these people. I'm gonna speak on who I'm talking to. I speak to people directly, um. But I um, saw Toya's live this morning and um, what's the other girl name? Flawless. She made a community post about me yesterday, right? And I don't know whether Flawless is feeling herself, but she's been feeling herself for quite a long time. And she's just a person that needs to be put in her place, point blank and period. Because um, you have some people who have this, com like this sup superiority, superiority complex um, and they think they're better than you. And I believe that um, Flawless is the type of person that believes that because she's married, that she's better than a person that is single. Um, and um, or she's a better woman or she has a better life. I don't know what she thinks, but you definitely need it to be put in your place, man. Okay. Um, you and I, we're not on the same wavelength. We're not the same type of people and, and we probably will never be, okay? So I gave you the opportunity months ago to speak to me like an adult and um, you wanted to keep doing a little subliminal message, you know, the, oh darling, I don't have time for that. No, you don't have strength for that. You don't have strength to talk to me. You don't, you don't. Um. And I say that because <laughs> as soon as these people want to have, like I said, their opinions and they want to say whatever they want and you want to speak on people's life, you want to, these past couple of weeks, this girl has been going in about people's homes. I mean, I'm just, and I was just appalled when she did that cleaning with me video and the way her house looked, man. So, I mean, the living quarters that you call and get, like everything about you, everything for you to ever speak, not just on me, on anybody in the, on God's green earth, you shouldn't be. And when I speak back, they want to say that I'm bullying or I'm disgusting or no, ma'am. No, I'm not. You are disgusting, but flawless. The roach crawling up your wall was even more disgusting in your vlog, okay? And like I said in my community post, my baby daddy would never have me living like that. 
He would never. Okay. But let's get into the community post that flawless. So she said, child, I don't care what. And uses my name. Okay. Has to say, honey, let her do what she must. I don't argue with uneducated mammies. Hmm. Whose biggest accomplishment is becoming a baby mama and learning to apply lashes. I appreciate the space you're renting in my, I don't know, in my, in your head. I don't know. This, I guess she's an educated person and I have absolutely no idea what she's trying to say, but I'm assuming that she put the my in there. Was not supposed to. So I'm going to say, I appreciate the space you're renting to my, or maybe me in your head, I guess. Okay. Me and my, okay, cool. Um, I'm more than certain it's better than I, the shack I live in. Absolutely. It's definitely better. The space in my head is definitely better than the shack that you live in, the projects that you live in. Miss me. Comedy. Now, ma'am, uneducated. Let, let, let's, let's talk about this because she, she likes to call people uneducated. Ma'am, I do have a, bio, a bachelor's degree in biology. Um, learning to apply lashes wasn't my big, biggest accomplishment. It was just something I decided to do. Um, and in the meanwhile, meanwhile, and becoming a, a mommy, yeah, that was that was definitely that was definitely an accomplishment. You were a baby mother when you first had your child as well, correct? You were a baby mom. You you had your baby at the altar, okay? <laughs> you had your baby at the altar, ma'am. So. But anyway, but yeah, becoming a mother um, was definitely a big accomplishment for me. It was a big accomplishment. Getting my college degree, that was an accomplishment. Um, owning my insur an insurance brokerage, that was definitely an accomplishment. I would say that was one of my biggest accomplishments. Um, but uh, if your education and your husband landed you in the projects at 35, you should be reevaluating yourself and your baby and your husband. You should be reevaluating the bum ass nigga you decided to marry because my baby daddy would never have me sitting in a hellhole like that. Okay? My baby daddy would never be sleeping on a futon. Okay? My mother taught me better than to settle for a bum ass husband, okay? So my mother taught me to survive on my own and I'm doing okay. I'm not rich. I'm not, you know, living an extravagant life, but my child is comfortable and so am I. In my situation, yeah, he would never have us living like that as well. Never. Okay? Never. No man I've ever slept with, okay? No man I've ever um, engaged in anything. They would never have me. They would never sit and walk in a kitchen with roaches, ma'am. No. They would never. And what I also found is that Flawless, your mother is a loctician. She's been doing hair for what, 30 years. So I'm just gonna assume that your mother raised you. The person that actually raised you is in the beauty industry. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do, Flawless? Do you sit on the internet and critique and criticize people's lives that are better than yours? Cause that's what it seems like. It seems like your happily married ass sits in a project, in a project apartment full of roaches and ornaments hanging off the wall. You don't have a dresser. You don't have a kitchen table, but you can sit your ass in some corner of your humble, I'm not even gonna say humble. You can sit your ass in a corner 
and make videos about other people in their lives and you live in the projects. You know what I'm saying? Do the whole video on Clout Chasers and her trailer or whatever it is that she lives in. But it looked way better than yours. You know what I'm saying? Your bedroom, your marital futon gives me prison vibes, okay? That mirror, that jailhouse mirror that you had in the corner with your glasses all hung up, that's ghetto, okay? It's ghetto. The back scratcher you got up there hanging up, the, 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 you got coats hanging up by text. Lord Jesus, I'm trying to find out how many people does it take to get a curtain rod around there? You can't get a curtain rod? You're just not going to get a curtain rod. Y'all not going to get a curtain rod. He's not going to get you a curtain rod. He's not going to do nothing. He's just going to go to work, come home, and see that shit like that every day. Huh? Y'all just going to look at, y'all just going to watch it like that. Y'all going to watch it like that. And you're going to get on the internet. Why you cooking one steak at a time and then pots and pan? You ain't got no dishes. You ain't got nothing. 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 What do you mean, uneducated miss? What kind of education lands you there at 35? What education do you have out of Jersey City that, um, that landed you in the projects at 35? And you calling that a better life for your child? What? What, what was it before? What, where did you live before? Huh? Where'd you live? It couldn't have been no worse, any worse than that. You know? For you to be calling people's man, a man, bum, a bum, your husband is a bum and you married a bum. He got you up in the projects. He's got you living in the projects. In North, it, I ain't never, I lived in North Carolina, okay? I went to school in North Carolina. When I was in college, my apartment looked nothing like that. It was a luxury apartment. And I paid $900. I don't know what y'all got going on over there. I don't know what y'all got going on over there. I don't know. But from the looks of it, it's a struggle, okay? It's a struggle. And like I said yesterday, I've got my education. No one can take that away from me. I did go to prison. I have a record. So, and I don't use that as an excuse for anything. But at this point, I'm going to need your excuse. I'm going to need your excuse. As to why your husband won't get you an exterminator. I need to know why your husband won't get you an exterminator for them roaches. You can't even do a vlog. The, 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 the roaches are making guest appearances in the vlogs at this point, man. They are. They're making guest appearances in the vlog and you actually come at me and say, I'm uneducated. No, I was educated enough to see that you have roaches. Okay. I was educated enough to look at your home with your concrete floors. Okay. And see that something is wrong there. If there's a two person income, two person household, if you are an entrepreneur, ma'am, what, 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 what's the business? Hmm? What's the business? What are you doing? Hmm? What exactly are you doing that landed you in the projects at 35? Okay. And I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to, oh dang, that's crazy. So yeah, I didn't want to, um, you know, keep revisiting this, but that community post took me for a, excuse me, miss. Mm -mm, you're not going to do that. And Toya, you got up, I, you got up on the, listen. Toya, you, 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 in your live, you just said that, um, you don't know how you got here. Well, and that you don't know why people are bringing you up. Well, let me get, let me, let me tell you the first thing. 
when you were criticizing people in their lives and making videos talking about people selling drugs and things like that. And your baby daddy was getting is locked up for selling drugs right now. And you're pregnant again. Like you should have been analyzing your life. Why was, why was he on a college campus selling, selling, selling drugs? Toya. Why? But you're worried about somebody else's. That's how you got there. Not only that, as far as with me, Toya, you got here because you lied and striked my channel to get my channel taken down. Remember? Remember that? Yeah, that's how you got here. Did you think that was going to just make me be quiet? No. I will say whatever it is I want to say. Yeah. Yeah. And y'all be like, oh, no, I didn't watch it. And I didn't watch. Yeah, I watched it. I watched your ass cry about getting a job. But had the nerve to talk about me doing that. I ain't do lashes in how long, y'all? And y'all, and it's crazy because these broke down females are speaking about me doing lashes as if it's a problem, ma'am. You wish you could find something to do besides being a stripper and making what three hundred dollars a night? I didn't make three hundred dollars a day doing lashes. I made about five hundred a day. Three hundred was a slow day. Flawless. If that was my biggest accomplishment, girl, I taught girls like you how to get out of the projects just by doing lashes. Easy. I went. I went to cosmetology school. Okay. I spent money on eyelash extension class. $2,000. I was doing lashes for a while. So for you all to knock me, what kind of training did you get to get your ass up on YouTube and speak about people's lives that are better than yours? What did you do? Nothing. You just got on here, got your little cell phone in your little corner of your little apartment with your text holding up everything. Is that what you did? The baby me and you are not, you and I are not the same. I'm nothing like you. You're a bum. And so is your husband. Somebody said doing lashes is a great skill. Yes. If I want to go do somebody's lashes, I will pay my rent in a, in two, three days. Okay. And I don't, I don't live in the projects. And again, it's nothing wrong with living in the hood. Sometimes I do, honey. But baby, even if I lived in the pits of the ghetto, my shit ain't looking like that. It ain't looking like that. Who raised you? And who raised him? Girl, what education do you have? What education do you have, girl? Like, talk about my IQ. Did you talk about my IQ in the in your comments, girl? IQ landed you where you at. You know what I'm saying? What in the world? I'm trying to understand. What is it that you did? So, I mean, I know I'm I'm 37, so I know I ain't, you know. And we all, you know, it's all good to be living a struggle life, you know. We all have been there. I've been there. But I'm not going to get on the internet and make it like, oh, because <laughs> you don't have a husband and your baby dad. Yeah, my baby dad, girl, when I tell you my baby daddy would never, okay, it would be like, it would be like emergency, emergency if he saw me living like that with his child, honey. Let me just tell you that. Seriously. I don't know anybody's baby daddy that would have. Yeah, I wouldn't even, for, girl, if I had to live like that, I'd be, there. ain't no nigga going to be with me. I, I'd be getting divorced immediately. Like, this how we gonna, this is what we don't want. Can't, y'all can't even get a bed. Y'all, y'all too. The food truck gotta have a weight limit, okay? Some type of way. I know it's probably dense and girl. Is she on there talking about people the way people look, honey? Girl, mm. Mm -mm -mm. yes. Um, college graduate, college graduate, business owner, and bug free. Put some respect on D name. Period. Thank you, thank you. You gonna put some respect on my girl? I don't know who flawless what she was talking to, honey. I don't know what rock she's under, but uh -huh. the roaches must be clouding your vision, honey. So our greatest accomplishment is to get on the internet and talk about people online for a check, okay, or lack thereof. Okay, she should be ashamed of that apartment. I would never, 
would never. Okay. Girl, my baby daddy would never. Since you want to keep talking about baby daddies, honey, my baby daddy would never. And I would never m marry a man. And he got me in, in living like that, me and my child. Mm -mm, no. If you do them tomorrow, so if you do them tomorrow, salute, get your paper, boo. Yeah. Right. Ain't no, <laughs> like, what is it supposed to be? An insult? And get, every time you say lash tech, remember your mother is a lock tech. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that, and did you ask your mother is, if that's her biggest accomplishment? Huh? Did you ask your mother that? Is that your mother's biggest accomplishment? Big gangster boo. If I just got back from New York, I'm taking I'm I'm taking up some lash classes. Y'all make that money. That's gonna um that's gonna be um, my side hustle. Girl, yeah, it could be your side hustle. And I took it for a um uh I took a um Um, when I came to Atlanta, child, I just wanted to, um, I was just trying to make sure I had a job when I got here, honey. And it just, from there, it just went, um, it was up. Right. D is a college grad. Keisha's a college grad. Jeremy is a college grad. Right. Yeah. They sit back and throw salt on the names, right. And shooting them down. The fuck wrong with these folks? Exactly. Like, girl, who are you talking about? You talking about me? You can't be talking about me. Talk about uneducated excuse me <laughs> uneducated where <laughs> like i graduated high school a year early honey to go to college and y'all know where i went to school so yeah i graduated with a 3.0 with a biology degree And I'm not even the type of person that like, because I, I don't believe a degree is everything. Because when I went to, when I went to, um, when I went to college, I wanted to do something totally different. Then by the time I got out, I wanted to get into sales. I wanted to be a pharmaceutical sales. That, um, I wanted to get into pharmaceutical sales. And I, instead, I got into insurance. But and people take, um, you know, different career paths, um, change a career, whatever. Everybody knows I went to prison. So that is the reason why I um, am not selling insurance anymore, but I still get paid from selling insurance back then. So why are they always worried about what does DD want me? You just said that I can, I can do what I want to do. I don't have to sit and make up things or just bash people um, to, Get a check. But both of them, girl, you're going to sit there and brunt, try it. Don't, nope, don't try to delete your community post now because I'm on your way. Yeah. Where did your education come from? Because it seems like you're very uneducated to think that you are better than anybody because you had a broke down, bum ass husband. Girl. If you come with the unblessed and pretty, okay. Like, girl, you got roaches. Just miss me with all anything you else, anything else you got to say. Somebody tell Clout Chase that that girl got roaches. <laughs> King, it's almost King birthday to y'all. But yeah, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna hold you, girl. You a bum, calling people bums. Like that's what that's what happens when people don't really like. They they lack an education. They judge people. They have no idea what they talk about. Girl, you have no idea what you talk about. I might talk loud and I might talk and speak how I speak, and that's because I choose to. But understand this, I can sit with anyone. I can sit with and have a conversation with and relate to anyone. And I don't relate to you, bum. 
you a bum. You a project housewife. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. Worried about somebody else and their relationship. You got that nigga in there. You ain't even got no daggone curtain rod. You can get our kid curtain rod for seven dollars. The hell. It be the ones that be trying to act like they're so class. Hello, this is you. You are not classy. You don't have no dishes, girl. You don't got no dishes. You got no daggone dishes. I wouldn't. My my mm, my man. No man of mine eat off no daggone. Mm -mm. Eating out of from a serving spoon, girl. Big old serving spoon eating some rice. You that's not that's a serving spoon, honey. It was a serving spoon. You're supposed to serve people with that. Girl. Girl, then her mother is a whole lock tech. Like, your mother lock tech. Did you tell her that? Did you tell her what you said about me? Girl. Because you y'all call my mother, so shit. I'm gonna call your mother and tell her you talking about people that's in her same profession. <laughs> I'm gonna call your mother and tell her. Your daughter is out here talking about I'm a lock tech. She she don't work at all. She don't do nothing, girl. She a project housewife. Mm hmm And she out here talking about people that's in, that, that, that do lashes, girl. Your mother probably gonna be like, girl, I need a lash tech for my <laughs> girl. I dismiss my clients every day. I have, you know what I'm saying? My clients call every day. I get clients calling. I had to block my ads and stuff like that because they were still calling me. I'm like, a little bit. I, I'm not doing lashes, okay? At first, I was scared, yo. I was scared to stop. But, you know, no, I'm not scared. I, I chose to do something else. I chose to do something else. I don't want to do lashes anymore. I can pick up. When you when you, when you, you uh, are an, a true entrepreneur, you can pick up and start to do. You can make a job for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And if you're smart and educated, you can pick one that works. And I just so happen to always pick the ones that work. Hell. I always pick the ones that work. What you doing? What you doing, Flawless? Is it working? Because it don't look like it's working. Y'all ain't even got no curtains. Yes, it's live. Yes, honey, it's live, honey. It's live. I just had to address some... Oh, weirdos. Who are you talking about? If you look at my community post, that's what I'm talking about. Flawless. My indigo mind. She had to change her name <laughs> when I had when I had it in the middle of the night last time. My bum ass husband. Her, her bum ass husband. Girl. <sighs> Oh, you knew. I'm sorry, George Smith. You just came in on the um some shenanigans, honey. But we just had a reactor talking about my education, calling me an educated. So I'm sorry, Joyce. But um, but yeah, I just had to address that because I definitely did. And then you got Toya over here acting like she, I don't know why she's talking about, let it go. No, no, ma'am. I'll let it go. I'll let whatever go out, whatever I want to let go. But we're not going to let go of the fact that your baby daddy's in jail for selling drugs and he was on here talking about um, Jeremy and his situation and anybody in their situation, Keisha and her situation. And your situation is just tore down to the ground. Okay. You're not going to talk about anybody. We're not going to do that. We're not doing that. And you you should have known that. When you when you decided to lie and put that false copyright claim, you knew you knew. I don't know whether you you thought it was funny. You thought it was funny, right, Toya? Remember all those videos? The only reason why you took down your Keisha videos was because you were afraid that you were going to get struck. That was the only reason why. 
you took down those videos because you didn't bow out gracefully and just, you know, bow. No, you, you actually, yeah, calling on the hate train. Remember, that was you. Hey, ain't your letter girl. Paris, Paris, we need to make videos, sis. Remember? Yeah, that was you. You couldn't let it go. Keisha don't even talk to you. But, you know. But yeah. I'm talking about let it go. I let whatever I want to go. And I saw somebody in the comments say, D just got her channel back and, and she still. Yes, I didn't beg for my channel back, girl. I didn't say, can you please give me my channel back? I didn't, I didn't do the toy. I said, run me my video back. And it's fully monetized. Run me my video back, okay? <laughs> Ain't no begging over here. We try to it. But yeah, I can say what I want. So you did it, you did good, Toy. You got your little job. <laughs> Cause yeah. The other thing wasn't working, girl. Talking about, and you just want to talk about people. No, you said you spoke on me, I speak on you. I say what I want. I can say what I want. Just like y'all had an opinion, I had an opinion, and I told y'all. I can say what I want, and I'm going to say what I want, when I want. You don't like it? Strike me. <laughs> do it. Like, I don't care. Y'all know I know how to do it now. I don't care. So, but y'all, today, I have a lot. Um, I just wanted to address the Roach Motel and, girl, the baby, like, girl, I don't even know what, toilet bowl. Hey, Jen. Vicky Mac. Hey, Nene's so sweet in here. I know you in here. Uh, King. Insurance. That's fantastic. Yes. I love insurance. I keep a... <laughs> I keep a million on me. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know going to say that too much. Hey, King. What's going on? I got to go. Yo, I got to I gotta drop. I got to go take Dylan somewhere. But, but yeah, I just was, I just, I just had to address that because, um, yeah, they be trying to come on, put a community post and then try to delete it. No, 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 ma'am. I saw it. Ask your mother if she, um, if that's her biggest accomplishment. Come on, King, stop. I'm not time for that. What you want? Oh, what you, it's, it's hot, King. Is it air on? It's hot up in here. It's good. It's good. Is it good, King? Is it good? My dog barking. <laughs> my dog barking at King. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that everybody say that. King, you got everybody. Yeah, ain't no drama tonight. It's definitely about big deal. It ain't even, I mean, and honestly, it ain't even no drama. It's just like, you know, I just call it how I see it. They be trying, they be trying like throw their little, they be like, they try to throw a little something, right? And then when I come back, they be like, uh-uh, that is not, she should not be doing that. No, oh, no, ma'am. No. Y'all, <laughs> no. But yeah, we had some good things coming tonight. I got good things coming anyway. I just um I was gonna do a, a regular live, but I just had to, I was just addressing that. Hold on, King. Stop. Hey, what are you doing? I hope you had the best birthday ever. Yo, I didn't tell him it's his birthday yet. He don't know it's today. Isn't that crazy? King, what? What's up? What kind of dog do you have, Joyce? Oh. 
Yes, King is like, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm Maltese. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I know they barking. King. All right. Let me hold on. Let me get King's room. Like you're building me for a treat. So yeah, he doesn't know it's his birthday today. And he's sleep, y'all. He's sleep because I told y'all he my game. Oh, she getting a tummy tuck. Oh, she gonna be so and then I see you got a Gemini on the cancer cuss. Yep, I do. I do. Yep. Yes, we all and um see we all can make money in our sleep too. Like seriously. And I ain't even the type of person that'd be like, I told Flowly Buck come to the live, but she's just watching. <laughs> Girl, she can't come to the live. I will mm. She know better. She knows better. I can't think if I should get a cake or cupcakes. She definitely um she just stay in her lane, honey. Hello. Lane. What was CC? Child, I don't care. I honestly like look. People like get a curtain rod and then talk to me. Show it's a curtain rod. The nerve of them bums. It's the audacity for me. Then they try to make it like I'm the one. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. But I mean, just like um, everyone else would like to move on and, you know, of course they would like to move on. You should. At least I told y'all something. But, um, yeah, I'm not, the, I told you, I'm not about to go back and forth with them. I just um, had my, um, I just had to get that one. I mean, like, get that one out. I mean, like, girl. Which I thought because y'all struck me and time went by, I was going to come back and be like, oh, no. Uh -uh. Wait a minute, hold on. What did they do? Level, I know she needs to take the earnings she's made on Keisha and fix that apartment. In. Yeah. And honestly, y'all, it couldn't have been that much. It could not have been that much. Honey. It couldn't have been that much. Like, when you change the dynamic, it didn't change you. Right. 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 You they I mean it's just it's it's just crazy like these people how they like delusional. That's delusional. Delusional to just but do y'all understand? Y'all know what I'm saying? Like you you have those women that believe that they are better because they are married, like and I, I'm not the type of person that thinks that marriage is a piece of paper. You know what I'm saying? I think marriage is a serious commitment. That's why I'm not married <laughs> right now. You know what I'm saying? 
could I have married just any old body that asked me? Of course. I'm sure many of us could have. But just because they want to marry you doesn't mean you have to marry them. Yes, I believe that marriage is um, more than paper. And I'm not going to just marry anybody just because they got me pregnant. <clears throat> no. I mean, a paint, a paint and spray is still something. And to... And to, and to where I see those those pictures down, <laughs> go to the dollar store and get some frames. Yeah, no frames, no nothing. Marriage is hard work, yes. All, all you gotta do is say yes. Good morning, Angel. I mean, Angel. Why two, why two person get so close and one day move on with life? Right. Marriage is seriously hard. Yeah. I agree. And I'm not married, but I'm just saying, like, I'm not about to just pop up and get married because I'm pregnant or anything like that. I'm actually, I like being single. I mean, well, I'm not, I ain't gonna say single, but, well, no, I do like being single, but I don't mind being single, I should say that. Y'all, I'm putting this thing together for a big deal. I'm doing I'm not married right now. I've been there, done that. Yeah. It's like, I mean, I don't have a problem with marriage, but it's just like the women that think that they're better than anybody. And honestly, a lot of people that are married are miserable. And I'm not saying that to... I'm not saying that to down anyone who's married, but... Just because you're married does not mean anything, especially when you're living in the projects. Like, it's just not my thing. It's just not my, um, that's just not, that's the pay that you took, you know? You decide to marry a bum. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. Okay, exactly. If I was married and lived like that, I would be embarrassed to vlog. Okay, definitely embarrassed. Oh, oh, my baby. Yeah, I'll be watching. Crazy. He went to the school today. I mean, you know, we always um like this when he was. I think he was like two. He said, "Thank you, Thor." He would say, "Y'all know how." So he would always say, "Thor." Like instead of saying "Lord," he would say, "Thor," because you know how when you say, "Thank the Lord," 
I don't know why he thought it was Thor, but he would always say Thor. <laughs> and I was like, it's not Thor, it's Lord. He was like, Thor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is it? Come on, we 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 use it. Chill. But y'all, I'm um. Niggas in the. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> that's a okay. Come on, we 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 come on, we 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 use it. Yeah, I'm trying to get um. I was putting this thing together for him. He's just, you know how you look. It's like, matter of fact, on this day, seven years ago. I was on my way to work, honey. On this day, seven years ago, I was on my way to work, honey. And my mother was like, why are you going to work? I was like, because I got one more. I'm trying to get this is this editing is like stuff does take a long time. Oh. It should be cute. I should I'm gonna try to have the video done by twelve. Wait, and I keep on putting more and stuff in it. But y'all, that's really all I had to say this morning. Um just um Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Are you speaking on me? Do you feel me? Watch your mouth. <laughs> but um, I'm going to end this. I'll see you guys tonight at 7. I'll see you guys tonight at 7. Um, and that's all I got for y'all this morning. I got some, I got a bunch of stuff to do. So I'll see y'all later.